Welcome back everybody, it's time for another Booster Cracking. Today we are doing a little bit of an unboxing with something different that caught my eye on Amazon a few weeks ago. I love getting blind box stuff and whenever I see a product that looks like a nice high quality product, I'm fully sold on it. I want to get it and open it right away and that's what happened here with Cryptkins. Let's move over Cthulhu because he does fit the theme of the Cryptkins. We are going over some Cryptzoology here with these blind boxes today. Cryptkins are these nice vinyl figures going all over the cryptozoology world. With all the mystical creepy elements of all our lortastic cryptid creatures, they're all in here. Well, most of them. There also is a series two, so if you guys enjoy this unboxing, let me know if I should do a series two of these guys. They've got them all in here though. They've got our boy Cthulhu, and there is a chase piece that we will be going after for Cthulhu. We gotta get the chase piece. This is a whole box to open up here. They got the Jersey Devil, they got Bigfoot, they got Nessie, they got it all here in these cool little kind of cutesy type versions of the cryptoids. But it looks great. It looks like a super fun, interesting box to open up, and It'll look really nice on display too, which is why I got these, because they look really good. This is by Cryptozoic Entertainment. They've been around for a minute now, and their products seem to be doing really well. I just spotted these. I know they've been out for a little bit now, and they're already on the next series, so I'm a little late to the party, but very, very excited to open these guys up. This should be a lot of fun, and hopefully we find a couple of those chase pieces. But let's go over the little box here that we got and open these up. But before we do, please make sure to support the channel by subscribing. I really appreciate it, and make sure to leave a like and share the video. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and getting this video out there. And if you enjoy these, you're going to want to stay tuned because we do all sorts of unboxings on the channel from cards, TCGs, Pokemon, to random stuff like this, even to some Gundam stuff, which we will have coming up on Wednesday's video. I'll be going over the 10th anniversary selection one of the new Gundam Converge line. Should be a lot of fun to look at these guys too. So if you like that kind of stuff, subscribe and stay tuned. Cryptkins, they do exist, vinyl figures. Collect all 13 and this box has 12 in it, so we might miss one, but hopefully we don't get a lot of duplicates or anything. This should be a lot of fun. I love the structure of this box. It's a very creative, well-made box too. It's good hard plastic as well, which is nice. So let's open it up and see what we got inside. I love the casings for these guys themselves. Let's check it out, look at that. That's so cool, they got like little air holes in them for the little cryptoids that we'll be finding. So let's get a few of them out and check them out. Let's just get all of them out, yeah? All right, we got them all out. Look at how neat these little things are. Let's take a closer look here. Check that out. That is so cool. I love the creativeness of these blind boxes. Super cool. Here's all our guys we can collect. Uh, I can't remember all the names of all these dudes. Really weird ones on here. Oh my gosh, what is that guy? So we got Yeti, we got Chupacabra, Oh, Jersey Devil, Cthulhu Mothman, he looks super awesome. Bigfoot, uh, is this another Mothman? This might be a different one. Uh, Nessie, I forget what you are, some kind of ancient dinosaur creature. And is that like, what is that guy? Oh, is that that like California Creeper dude or something like that? Oh, I forget what those guys are called, but hopefully there's like a little checklist or something inside. We'll see, but these look really sweet. There we are, we're ready to go, and hopefully Cthulhu here can wish us some old gods good luck here or something, and we can find the Chase Cthulhu, because that's the main guy I really want to find here. And there's three that are Chases, a Nessie Chase, a Cthulhu Chase, and, well, I guess Cthulhu's like the big Chase, and then these are more of like the variants you can find of this guy, this Pterodactyl dude or whatever his name is, and then the Nessie guy. So let's get to getting. I've wasted enough time. Let's open one of these up. There's a little piece of tape, and you got your figure in a nice plastic bag, and then you got a actual like card that goes with the figure itself as well. So that's really neat. So we're not gonna spoil anything. We're just gonna go straight for the figure here. Get a little bit more zoomed in for you guys. I'm trying to see if there's like a tear thing. Is this a tear? This might be a tear. Uh, I don't know, but it's not too bad to open up or anything it seems like. I'll test out the tears of these things. Let's see what's our first cryptoid figure. We've got, ooh, the Jersey Devil. That one is so neat, man. Holy cow. Look at how cool he is. Look at how well designed. I mean, these, and I instantly dropped him. Okay, he didn't break, so that's okay. <laughs> But dang, this guy looks so sick, man. Really cool. I can't wait to put these up on a shelf and just leave them to sit and look cool, basically. Let's open up the little card that comes with this and not tear it or anything. It comes out pretty nicely. There it is. Look at that custom Jersey Devil card. It's a night creature. 
There might be like a game or something you can play with these. I'm not actually sure. And you can get your reading up with the Crypto World here. It gives you all the information about it. Jersey Devil, unknown for full grown height and weight, but the local legend describes him as I'm about six feet tall. Description, don't let the horns and the name fool you. He can be a bit rascally and may unintentionally cause mass hysteria at times, but this fanged fellow is just looking for a buddy to have some fun with. Oh, they gotta make him cute. He's actually a menace to society in Jersey, but you know, it is what it is. Diet Carnivore, who prefers livestock and especially chickens. He lives in the Pine Barrens of Southern New Jersey. I love these little cards. These are so cool. All right, make room for the Jersey Devil. That looks phenomenal. We'll keep a stack of cards somewhere too, but that is really cool. I'm so happy I got these. Let's do the next one, yeah? Oh, well, I just completely ripped that one open. That's okay though. Let's get our stuff out. We're not going to reveal. Let's see. As long as I'm not getting too many duplicates, I'll be a happy camper. That's the main thing. See, this one doesn't want to open. Yeah, this one just wants to stretch and tear. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, there we go. All right, we got it. We got it. And our next one. Oh, it's Nessie, baby. Let's go. Look at how big-eyed and cutie this Nessie is. This one's really neat. Dang. Lock Ness over here looking really sharp. That is such a... Man. Very impressed with the quality for just these little mini boxes. They're relatively inexpensive for a nice vinyl figure like this too, which is just awesome. They make it reasonably priced and uh, yeah, I'm in for that stuff. You know, they just, they sit and they look so nice just standing. So let's read up on Nessie here. We're just gonna check out the cards as we go. And if we get doubles, we're not gonna read them again. Don't worry. Nessie, nice artwork on that one. Name Nessie, full grown height and weight unknown. Legends suggest she may share DNA with some large dinosaurs. You don't need to look at some grainy photo to tell you that this little monster is for real. She may be small, but she could keep growing and growing. It might be smart to locate all major bodies of fresh water close to you now. Diet is an omnivore who prefers salmon, sturgeon, minnows, and a variety of zooplankton. Loch Ness Lake in Scotland. Fantastic. And I just had to check, but yeah, blue is not the variant of Nessie, so we got to keep looking for a chase here. My guess is we'll probably only find one chase per box is probably how it's going to work for like ratios of how these boxes are structured. Typically with blind boxes, that's usually how it goes for like a chase figure. You'll get like one chase per box that you open up. So let's see. This one opened up relatively easy. That's fine. Let's see who we got in this one. We got oh, our first double, our first double of the Jersey Devil. All right. We got another Jersey boy. That's fine. That's fine. We expected some doubles and I did mix up all these boxes. So let's keep moving and see who else is in here. Huh! Oh, I just pressed that one in. That's fine too. Let's go. Let's see. Where's the, yeah, there's really no like easy way for these. I feel like it's just like you pull the right side or you don't. That one didn't feel like the right side, but our next figure is Bigfoot. He's so sweet, man. Look at his feet are all dirty. That's so funny. His feet are full of like freaking mud and stuff. The designs, man, the designs are so well done. I love it. These guys look great. Bigfoot, this version of them, I like them more in person. I was going to say this one's probably not my favorite, but I like that he's just got dirt on his feet. That's such a nice small touch. That's really clever. We'll put him over there and we will open up his card and see what our history has to tell us about Bigfoot here. Lots of stuff with Bigfoot in Legends, so much so. Did you know they actually have some connection to UFOs? Yeah, don't go down that rabbit hole, it goes for miles. Name Bigfoot, height and weight unknown, a legend pegs him at about 10 feet tall. Despite his name, your very hairy new friend is definitely fairly little, at least so far. Keep an eye on him. He likes to wander in forests, making it hard to track him down sometimes. He likes to eat elk, fruit, and vegetables. What a wide variety there. Pacific Northwest. Although, you know what? These guys just pop up everywhere in the world. It's ridiculous. And that picture is... <laughs> I almost wish that was the figure. That's a great looking Bigfoot figure. <laughs> they need to remake him with that guy, with that stance and everything, like chomping on an apple or whatever the hell he has. That is funny. All right. Cthulhu. Come on, this is our Cthulhu box right here. Let's see if we can find him in this one here. Come on, get the card out, get the guy out. Let's see what we got in this one. Ripped pretty easily that time. And we've got, oh, okay, okay, okay. Now, which one are you? I forget, are you the Chupacabra? Is this Chupacabra? This might be the Chupacabra, but I love that green. That green looks so nice. It's gonna look so good on Cthulhu, honestly. Do these have any markings on them? 
I want to make sure. Let's see. They do have some markings on them. Made in where? Vietnam? All right. 2018. That's how old these are. That's how far behind I am. I'm behind by four years. Holy crap, man. That's crazy. I love his little teeth. The, the design of these. So good. So good. I believe this is Chupacabra, right? This has got to be Chupi. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get out the card. It is. Okay. That's what I thought. I couldn't remember though. Nice picture. Nice picture. Now I do prefer this little figure over the picture for this one. Not like Bigfoot. Chupacabra. And it gives you the actual way to say his name, which is funny. Unknown size and weight, but past sighting suggests small bear size. Interesting. He may be fiercely green and have spikes running along his head and back, but he just wants to be your friend. They all want to be our friends here in Kryptkin's village. He, what does it say? Oh, I don't know. Where was I? Don't believe these rumors about him drinking the blood of livestock, but keep him away from farms and goats, especially goats, just in case. That's kind of funny. Carnivore prefers goats, deer, and rabbits, North, Central, and South America, and the Caribbean. He's all over the gosh dang place too. See, that would be more like they needed to highlight some more places for Bigfoot because he's all over the gosh dang place as well. But really nice, really nice Chupacabra figure. Go right here next to our Bigfoot. And let's see if we can get our hands on Cthulhu with this one right here. Next up, let's see it. Get all our stuff out. And we're going to go in. That one ripped really easy. I just got to go for it. Oh, we got Mothman. I love Mothman. He's so cool. Ah, oh, such a nice one. He's got a weird beak. Oh, man. Did they get the whole, like, owl features of him? I don't know. You guys tell me. What's your, what's your thoughts on this? I love his ears. His ears are great. Really big fan of that. He looks really sharp with those. I like him. I like him. And I think the white version of him looks pretty solid too. Although I feel like that's like a different cryptoid that they just use the same mold for. I forget. Mothman. Nice looking picture on the card. I love that. He's in the woods. He should have been on a bridge though, honestly, if you wanted to be more accurate. Folklore suggests his wingspan is about 10 feet. You'll think these legends about him terrifying a small town are just ridiculous after you meet this sweet little fella. Still. You should probably warn your neighbors about your red-eyed, high-flying little friend before nefarious rumors about him begin again. That's funny. Carnivore, Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Accurate, although recently there have been sightings in Chicago. Heads up, Chicago. You may have some kind of poignant disaster heading your way because he is a bearer of bad news bears. So heads up, Chicago, if you're in the Chicago area and watch these videos, just know people have been spotting this boy around. So watch out. All right, so far only one double has been spotted. That's not too shabby, but Mothman is falling. His butt is actually not super like flat, so he's kind of like falling over a little bit. Not too shabby with the duplicates though, like I was saying. Let's see if we can keep hitting some good hits here. This one doesn't want to open very well, but we got it and we've got, oh! <gasps> oh, it's the Cosmic Cthulhu! It's the chase piece, let's go! Yes! Yes, dude, look at that. He's got like that really, really dark, really dark translucent purple on him. That is crazy. You're gonna have to like hold him up to a light to really get the full effect. This is the Chase Cthulhu, the Cosmic Cthulhu. Yes! I am so happy about this. Hopefully he's not like completely blending into the background, but you can see when it goes behind my hand here, just that nice little kind of purple edges. It might just be his ears and like tail. Let's open up this little card and it should be a custom version for his card too it is check that out cosmic cthulhu the ultimate chase piece for this set i am so so happy we got this guy he is so neat looking i do want the regular version because he looks really sharp too but come on we got to go for the chase pieces and we found him oh there goes mothman we're gonna have to see the differences between the two and see if they're the same or not cosmic cthulhu unknown height and weight but you probably heard stories about his gigantic size despite legends looking at him won't drive you insane if anything you'll fall in love with this unique appearance and rambunctious personality one warning it'll be hard to keep all of them to yourself since wherever he goes cults of followers just seem to show up that's funny if you haven't guessed it, I'm a big Lovecraft fan, so this is just phenomenal. <laughs> Let's see what else it says here. He's an omnivore who will eat anything you put in front of him, even if it's not technically edible. And his population, unknown, but you can be sure he is exceedingly rare anywhere in the cosmos for his habitat. That is funny and so cool. Wow, we got the chase piece. That is fantastic. Very, very excited about that. 
All right, we're gonna do some flip-flopping so everybody can be seen nice and clearly, and you're gonna have to stand against something because you're just falling over, Mothman. All right, well, we succeeded in our mission of finding the Cosmic Cthulhu. This one has the card butted up right against the... Stop, stop. Okay, there we go. Right against the box, I should say. It was about to bend. Oh, is there air leaking from us? I don't know. But let's see if we can get regular Cthulhu now. I don't think it's possible for Gifts to get another chase piece, but we shall see. We do get the big boy bird, and I need to find out your name and what you are. It's just the legendary dino bird, pterodactyl or something. Uh, no, it's something else. All right, we need to get this out so I can speak on it properly. It's the Thunderbird of Arizona. That's right. See, I haven't, I haven't studied up on this guy too much. I haven't gone down the rabbit hole of the Thunderbird. Heard a little bit of some tales. I think it has to do with some Indian folklore or something. It pops up over in the Arizona area and canyons and deserts. But let's check him out a little bit closer really quick. He looks really sharp. He's just kind of like a pterodactyl bird. I like him though. He's pretty neat. His chase piece is pretty cool too, actually. I like it a lot. Thunderbird, let's check out what is going on with him. Uh, describes a wingspan as anywhere from 12 feet to a width comparable of that a small passenger plane. Wow. Myths say that this guy is enormously powerful and may even have supernatural powers over the weather. So if he ever is in a bad mood, you may want to keep an umbrella handy and track down the nearest storm shelter. Carnivore who prefers insects, snakes, and according to legend, whales. Wow, that's an interesting one. North America, just North America, not, you know, giving it any credence other than the continent. Uh, no specifics on that one. And it's a little off-center. Ah, my collectible TCG personality is coming out, and this is an off-center cut. Not fun. All right, we got Thunderbird and still only one duplicate. So I'm gonna take that. That's fine by me. Let's put him up there. And let's go on to the next one here. See if we can keep up the streak. I'm really liking what we've been finding so far. It's been a great box. And getting the box is just the way to go for these, I feel like, because then you kind of just are guaranteed to get pretty much everything that you want. Uh, this one is struggling to open quite a bit. Holy crap. Don't, I feel like this is a fragile one, so I feel ears. Oh, 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 it's the white version of Mothman. Let's go. Now, again, I don't know if this is actually Mothman. This might be something else, but look how sharp this is. It actually is a little bit different, too. Let's compare. The ears are a little bit different, so they did switch it up for the molding a little bit, which is nice, which is nice. Everything else is the same, just the painting and the ears are switched up. So let's see what you are technically because I'm not 100% sure about it. It's the Twilight Mothman. Now, this isn't, is this like, oh, 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 easy now. Yeah, he's just on there, so it's not like a variant. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's not. It's just Twilight Mothman. Hmm, interesting. Let's see the differences here. Suggests between 4 and 12 feet tall. He may have a strange love for barns and abandoned buildings, especially right before it gets dark, but there's nothing more scary about this level of a monster. He's ready to fly out of legend and right into your heart. Carnival New England. Oh, it's New England's version of the Mothman. That's interesting. Okay, good to know. We're learning here. And we've only got three boxes left, so let's see if we can find another guy here. See, this card is butted up against it. it. Makes it hard to open up, but we got it. Let's get the card out. Let's get the figure out. Let's rip it easy. Not gonna be easy. Okay, we're not We're not gonna have fun on that one. All right, there we go. We got Cthulhu! No, oh, I thought it was Cthulhu. Dang, you, oh man, you chupacabra. You tricked me out real nice, didn't you? Holy crap. All right, we got another double. We got a double of the chupacabra. Um, so we don't need to really go into it any further. Let's just go right on to the next box and hope for Cthulhu uh, because that one that one tripped me up, man. I really thought we had Cthulhu there. Let's release the Cthulhu right here. Let's see. Don't want to don't want to give it away. I'm like you can kind of see through to the cards when you open it. So I'm trying to just go straight to the figure. All right, who do we got? <gasps> Someone new? <gasps> it's the Yeti! It's the Yeti boy! Come on, get out, get out! Ah. Oh, we got a little. There we go. Oh, get, 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 get. All right, there we go. It's the Yeti, the abominable snowman over here. Looking sweet. I love the colors on these white ones. This white and this light brown looks really sharp. I love that. Love that. Again, it is the same mold as the Bigfoot, but it's just about spreading love over here in the Bigfoot land. It's the snow equivalent to the Bigfoot. It's the Yeti, and he looks awesome. Let's get the card out. That ripped open very nicely. A Yeti 
Again, uh, do I actually prefer this thing down one compared to this picture? So this is not bad. Yeti, unknown, full grown height and weight, folklore pegs him as a taller than the average man. Oh, taller, just a little bit taller, not as crazy as Bigfoot. As his other nickname, the abominable snowman suggests, this guy loves cold weather. He enjoys hiking in the mountains before settling down for hot chocolate in a warm cave. How does he get in hot chocolate in a cave? Or back at home with you. There you go. Small warning. He loves to get and get hugs, but he doesn't always know his strength. He could kill you guys. Just keep it in mind, he prefers meat, omnivore, especially sheep and goats. Himalayan region of Nepal, Bhutan, and Tibet. Am I saying that right? Bhutan? Bhutan. Oh, it's Bhutan and Tibet. There we go. Uh, again, kind of with Bigfoot, Yeti gets seen in a lot of places, so I don't think it's restricted to Tibet and all that, but it is well known for him being over there. All right. We've got one more box, and again, we have not found just regular old Cthulhu. Uh, we've gotten almost everybody on this line except for Cthulhu. We haven't got the Nightcrawler, the, what is it, the Fresno Nightcrawler? That's the name, isn't it? The Fresno Nightcrawler, I think, if that's who I'm thinking it is. It could just be an alien. I don't actually know. I think it's the Fresno Nightcrawler or the California Nightcrawler, something like that. So everything else has gotten, uh, I'm kind of just crossing my fingers it's not him because I don't really care to get him. I want just the normal Cthulhu. So... Last one, leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed this. I had a blast. If you want to see series two, leave a comment down below. Series two, series two. Leave it below. Let me know because I am down. These guys were sick and there's more cryptids to go over in series two. So let's see. What's our last guy? Oh, you mother fricker. <laughs> All right. We got the Fresno Nightcrawler. He is goofy. He kind of just looks like an alien. He's got a nice texture on the back of them actually which is kind of nice you can see the seams a little bit on the vinyl and the legs uh on this weird like off color i wonder if he glows in the dark i don't think he does but you know he's still pretty cool and you know what i'm not going to complain too much we did get he's heavy actually he's heavier than most now that i'm setting him down he's a bit heavier let's see am i right is this the the night crawler it is the night crawler these videos are classic they've turned into memes Nobody knows if they're real or fake. Could be people sticking their hands in their pants and walking like a goofball. Who knows? But the Nightcrawler, unknown height and weight, but eyewitness accounts describe him as being about four feet tall. Yeah, he's a short boy. Short king, I should say. Should we call him a short king? I don't know. That's just the meme right now. I don't get it. He may look strange and make your neighborhood believe aliens are invading, but this little creature is as friendly as they come. Folklore suggests he may have evolved to survive on a planet with swampland. Uh, so it's a big bonus if you live near any wetlands. Given his lack of a mouth, it is a mystery what or how he eats. And there we go. Fresno, California, and Yosemite National Park are his spottings. Those are the big three where he has been seen, so that's accurate. And I don't know if we have guaranteed accuracy on if it does or doesn't have a mouth. All this stuff, all the video footage has been, you know, really crappy cryptoid footage, which is taken on a 20-year-old phone or something, so... Does he have a mouth? I don't think we've had any footage to verify if he has a mouth. So this poor little guy is getting represented as someone who doesn't eat. And I don't think that's fair. You know, I'd like to believe he has a mouth at some point. Holy crap, though, that was a ton of fun. Again, if you do want to see Series 2, let me know. I'm totally down. This has been so cool. We got so many good guys. Hit pretty much all the marks. Only two doubles. Uh, that's probably average for a box. And we did get the big boy himself, the Cosmic Cthulhu. That is so cool so so cool man i can't wait to put these up i want to get more definitely want to get the normal version of cthulhu so who knows maybe i'll do more of these i don't know but i don't want to get too many duplicates of these guys kind of pointless right i don't know about that but man this has been a really cool one absolutely had a blast with these guys they are so fun and now i gotta make room on my shelves to put all these dudes but they're gonna look great either way just a reminder as well again subscribe to the channel help support the channel. I really am appreciative when that goes down. It helps the algorithm know you guys enjoy this kind of stuff. But look for more unboxings in the future and look for the Gundam video on Wednesday. So stay tuned and look for more things coming up in the future here from the channel. We're posting weekly, bi-weekly, whatever you want to go by. We get it done. We open up some cool things. So watch out for your local cryptids and we'll see you in the next video.